What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. We have some more GB Studio, and this is another request, a great request idea, asking, is there a way where we can select what player we want to play as? Now, the example I'm going to give you is one that could either be used at the beginning of the game where you select what player you want to play at the beginning, or if you wanted it to be something you could access while you're playing and switch characters throughout the gameplay you can do that also with this example. And I have just a real kind of a simple platform game for this example, but you could use it for whatever you want. If I go up here in the upper left-hand corner and go to sprites, you'll see in here I made two sets of animations. One of them is the character that I used for my past few demonstrations. And then I made another one that's basically the same thing. I just made kind of inversed it. So the body's dark and the eyes are light as opposed to the body's light and the eyes are dark. Just so you can tell the difference easily between the two characters. But you could do this however you want. Just you want to make sure you bring them in here to your sprites first. Now I'll go back to the game world. And this is actually... Not as hard to set up as I initially thought it would be. All we need to do is if we go on here into scene one and go to add event, and I'll search for button, and I want to find attach script to button. We've done this a few times. I'll switch it to start and deselect B, and on press, instead of dialogue, I'm going to search for display, and I'm searching for display menu and then you'll see it gives us some options in here the first one is we need to set a variable so I'll click this drop down and I will find variable one underneath global or whatever your earliest non-defined variable is in mine it just so happens to be that is variable one then I'll click the pencil and I will call this one Character var for character variable. And how many options do I want? Well, I just have two options in my game, so I'm going to go with two. Item one, where it says set to one if, and I will go and name this one character one, just something generic that we can see since. Character two. And then it says set to zero if B is pressed. So that means if you didn't select anything, then it doesn't change anything in your options in there. Now, once those two things are defined, then I can go down here and you can choose if you want the dial if you want the layout to be in terms of dialogue or menu. I like dialogue because it gives us a little bit more room in there, whereas menu it limits some of those characters we can add to it. And then I will go to add event after that, and I will go compare variable with value. So if variable compares with value. And then I can click the drop down and I can find my care, Victor Ver, or character var, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll say if it's equal to one this character one on there so then i'll select that value to one and then i will search for player and then we have this option in here for set player sprite sheet i can click this drop down here and i'll select hero now if i wanted to continue this with multiple characters then i could add another one if character var is equal to two then this but since i only have two options I don't need to use another if statement. I can simply go down here to else, and then I can add an event, and then go player, and set player sprite sheet, and then this one I will select to hero two. So if it's equal to one, then it's gonna be this character, and if it's anything other than one, then it's going to be this character down here. Now let's give this a try and see how it works. 
here's my character I'm running around with in my from my demonstration before. Then if I press return, and then I can go here to these options and I can select character two, and then I have character two on here. Now I didn't go through and change any of my animations for these, so that's why it's still a little bit wonky on there. It's just playing through my initial um, default that I had. But if I go back to character one, where I do have the animation, then it looks like that. So there you have it. You can set that up relatively easy. And like I said, it could be at the beginning of the game uh, where it asks you what character to select. Or in this case, it's just kind of like a little pause menu. And then it allows us to change the character in there. Hopefully that helps you out. I think this does provide some fun opportunities where maybe certain characters have different power-ups. Those kind of things. It definitely would be fun to play around with, and I'm excited to find some ways to incorporate this in some of my games. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the idea for this tutorial, and hopefully we'll catch you on another video down the road.